Hey everybody, welcome to This Week in Sports. I'm Sean. Big, big news concerning the Pro Bowl this year. They made some changes and it seems like it's going to be just throwing this whole thing for a loop this year. Uh, the first change is that um, it's not going to be NFC versus AFC anymore. Um, they're going to be two captains and they're going to pick the players. This is awesome. I love the idea of this. Yeah, it's not traditional, but it, it's creative and it's going to bring some some really unheard of like combinations that you never thought you would see again or you never thought you would see period. The second rule change is that they're going to um, get rid of kickoffs, uh, so returners. Um, I don't know what this means for punt returners, but they said kickoffs are sure or no more. So everybody's going to start at the 25 yard line with every possession um, when after touchdowns. Uh, third rule change is that they are going to change the possession after en at the end of each quarter. This is a really good uh, idea, so you get some you know lively ball play. So instead of just sitting on it and just waiting for the clock to run out, maybe get a better you know maybe get a better uh, uh, play clock or anything like that, they have to try to score at the end of the quarter because no matter what, the the ball is going to be turned over to the next the other team. So this is cool because. It's just it's probably going to be a lot more points. You're going to see a lot more trick plays, maybe. Hail Marys. There are going to be a lot more plays You know where the receivers are going deep, a lot more nine patterns. It's going to be awesome. I like the, the offensive-minded stuff in this. There are also rule changes um, that revolve around defense. They're going to allow them to play cover two, as well as man, bump and run, bump and run um, kind of defenses. So this is a this is a good thing for the defenses. So to allow them to, to almost match what the offenses are going to be able to do. I really like the idea of this. Um, like I said, none of this is traditional, but because of how the Pro Bowl has been played over the last few years, it's been a very poor showing, and the players have been doing a very terrible job of um, showing that it really matters. They've they've been lackluster la and. Overall, they're just giving poor performances. Um, people aren't playing to their, their fullest extent because they don't want to get hurt. Um, they aren't paid enough money to, to play in these because, you know, $70,000 for the winner, $30,000 for the loser. I mean, it's to some of these players, that's nothing. That's pocket change. That's one game, maybe. And uh, not even one game for some of them. So, I mean, they haven't been giving it their full effort. So, this might change all that. Um, I'm really happy for these changes. I want to see how they go. You know, my, my, my mind might change on this at the end of the year after I see the game. But as of right now, I'm really, enjoy I'm, I'm really happy for this, and I'm really excited for this one. In basketball news, LeBron James might be making a run for union president. The player that holds the position right now is Derek Fisher, but his career is coming to an end. His, uh, his term expires this summer, so uh, they are looking for a new president. They'll hopefully be getting one in there by the end of August. Um, and so he's uh, really thinking about making a run for this uh, for this spot. The only thing that's holding him back is, as I said before, with his uh, his reasoning for not being on the USA basketball team anymore, is that he he doesn't he doesn't want to know if he'll have enough time to dedicate to this position. It's a very important position, and with someone with his star power, it would be very big for the NBA players because it would be able it would allow them to negotiate on a higher level with team owners and, and things of like that nature. Um, but he does things, you know, 100%. And if he doesn't have the time, then he doesn't know if he wants to do it. So uh, we'll see where this goes because it's very important that somebody like him will be in this position instead of a role player or even a backup like Derek Fisher. As good as Derek Fisher's been for as long as he's been, or as as much as people look up to him, he's not LeBron James. This could change the whole landscape of the NBA. And speaking of the best players in the NBA, he's back. My boy, Derrick Rose, he said in an interview this past weekend that uh, when asked who the best player in NBA was, who the best player in, U in basketball was, uh, he said Derrick Rose. Uh, this makes me happy. Um, I'm happy seeing that they've already said that he's back to 100%. He's going to be playing starters minutes in these preseason games coming up in a couple, in a month and a half, two months. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It shows me he's confident. He knows that he's... He's where he needs to be, and this just makes me happy as a Bulls fan. I'm, I'm really uh, can't wait till the season starts again. In soccer news, AS Roma beat the MLS All Star team this week. They beat them three to one. I didn't get to watch the game, but everything I read about it uh, showed that the AS Roma team just pretty much overpowered MLS All Stars. The U.S. Men's National Team they actually won the Gold Cup this past week and they finished it out and won. Uh, they beat Panama 1-0, and the uh, winner of the Golden Ball was Landon Donovan. He just um, tore up this tournament. He was scoring goals, assists. He was playing offense very well, you know, lining things up. And it was just, it's just awesome to see him fully healthy, ready to play some ball. It makes me um, happy and, and excited about 2014 uh, World Cup in Brazil. Very excited about that one next year. 
In some fighting news, or not so real fighting news, WWE superstar Randy Orton was uh, doing his entrance routine, you know, standing on the turnbuckle celebrating, and some fan, I guess, sneaked over the over the uh, the fence, got in the ring, walked up to him, and did a sucker punch right um, to his groin area. Uh, Randy Orton fell down, and apparently it wasn't planned. Security went on there right away to get him. Randy Orton got up like he was going to beat the dude's ass. Um, I'll post a video in the description. In more fighting news, now on the real end of fighting news, UFC 163 is happening this weekend. I'm really excited about this one, mainly because of the top two fights. The, the second to last fight is going to be Lyoto Machida and Phil Davis. That one's going to be a really good fight. It's a, it's a good weight class, good uh, good fighters with a good history. Uh, Machida's ranked number one, Davis is ranked number seven. Um, depending on what happens with this fight, Davis, if Davis were to pull it out, um, he could possibly go up enough to now be the number one contender. The main event is going to be Jose Aldo versus Chan Sung Jun. Now I haven't heard of Chan but I definitely have seen Jose Aldo fight and most of the fights I've seen him in he's just beasted on people. The last fight I saw he looked like he's coming back into form. I know he hurt himself a while back and so now he's uh, he's getting back to his fighting uh, where he's been for a while now and uh, he's just tearing dudes up left and right. Um, very talented. I'm really excited about this fight this weekend. Um, I can't wait to see it. Last bit of news in this week in sports. A high school student, his name is Brett, Brett Sturback. He, uh, they had just finished a, a state all-star game and he was getting a ride home uh, and they stopped with his parents. He they stopped at a, like a quickie mark kind of thing. And while his parents were inside, he was outside and two people tried to rob him. He sprung into action, he stopped the robbers, actually turned and he got stabbed once in the leg, but he actually was able to turn that knife on one of the robbers and stab the dude five times. He uh, got nicked up a little bit other than that, the stab in the leg, heads, bumps, and bruises, but he was able to fight off these two robbers and actually chase them down. Um, so this is pretty pretty crazy, pretty awesome. His friends have a nickname for him, call him Superman. Um, now nobody's saying to go out there and, and be a crime fighter by all means. Um, Apparently the police have come out since then and say, do not do this, do not try to do this. They say to give up all your belongings and hope for a peaceful end to anything when you're being robbed. That's what the police say. Um, what, what do you guys think? If somebody were robbing you, would you, you know, just lay down and give them everything? Or would you, uh, you know, fight back? Depending on what the situation was. Um, for me, I don't know. There, you know, fight or flight, I do not know what I would do. Thank God I haven't been set up with that situation yet. Um, but this guy got out of it okay, and he's uh, got become a little popular from this, uh, getting his 15 minutes of fame. Uh, but like I said, guys, be careful out there. Uh, don't try to repeat what he did. It's 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 it doesn't happen like this every time. So that's it for this week in sports, guys. Remember to click the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Leave your questions, comments, inquiries in the comments down below, and let's get this conversation started off right this week. We'll see you next time.